Hi everyone, today we're back as a homeowner. I'm starting off my morning out here at the garage. Yesterday a few buddies and myself went dirt bike riding a few hours away here. I got back late yesterday so I just unloaded the dirt bike and you guys can see the truck and the dirt bike are covered in mud. It was a lot of fun. There were some pretty big jumps and it was just a lot of fun getting to ride on a kind of an official dirt track here. But before we put the truck in the garage, I really want to get uh, the truck cleaned off here. I definitely don't want that mud and dirt all over the nice clean garage floor. And I definitely want to get this cleaned up here. But the Duramax, guys, is a pretty fun truck to hop in with a few buddies. A few dirt bikes in the back here. Now, I, I want to get some window tint here for definitely two or three inch uh, lift kit forwards is the other thing I would like to do. Like always, guys, there's a full mods list link down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, help me out by hitting the like button. I think we're all set there with the dirt bike. Now, I will be bringing this back to the uh, shed to store it, but I do just want to check the levels here on it. So we'll just get this rolled right in uh, the garage here for now. We'll just put it right along the wall, but I don't want to go too far forward because I definitely want to fit this truck inside here. But yeah, the Duramax, I, I put a few thousand miles on it since we did our full build so far and have been really liking it. It's always nice to have a nice clean truck here. Now the other thing I did do midweek was pick up the old deer skid steer. It was an expensive uh, fix over at the John Deere dealer. I think the bill came out to like $2,300 uh, for new drive uh, uh, hydros here. So we're all set and we actually have a project with this here. So let's get this thing up and running. This old deer is like 30 plus years old and this thing just keeps on running. It fires up on the first crank here, and it's a really handy machine. I definitely would highly recommend one of these older deers if you want a small skid steer to do some projects around the house. So the project at hand, guys, is going to be working out here, uh, building a patio here. I really want a patio. Uh, that way we could put out some table and chairs, which I have to unbox, put those together as well today. So what I'm thinking is I want to probably come right here uh, to the edge of the house here. We'll uh, come right on over, and I want uh, the steps to be here. So we'll go three feet back from the steps. On this side, we're going to be going off the side of the uh, back porch here. That way we don't make the patio too big here, but just enough to have several tables, a small canopy, and that will give Diesel quite a bit of room here. So let's get to work here with the skid steer, digging up all the top soil, and we'll keep it. Uh, that way I can fix some uh, low areas in the yard. And also, I really want to build some raised garden beds here in the future, so we might end up using the soil for that. I think that should be good right about there here. I don't want to go too big here. That way uh, we have to put some sod back, put some new grass seed down. That looks to be perfect here. So I decided to go with the concrete pavers. These are stuff that you just buy at the local uh, store here. So we're going to be putting those in and then we'll get some furniture. While I was working here in the backyard, I got a phone call from someone in town. They connected me to someone else that is the owner of a property, and they are looking to put it on the market. They lived there for like 35 years, but they said they have an old shed or a barn on the property with an old lawnmower, and they said if I want the mower, I could have it for free. I just have to come pick it up here. So what I'm thinking is I want to go over there right now, see if we want it, and I'm thinking why don't we take the uh, Cummins Long 
bed here and also we'll just take the uh, two uh, small ramps here I don't really want to be bringing uh, a trailer with me here he said that I would have to be driving on the lawn and I think it would be a lot easier just to do it uh, just with a regular pickup truck here and a lawnmower a riding lawn tractor should definitely fit in the back of an eight foot bed here but this is super exciting guys not every day do you get a call like this so I definitely want to go check it out to those that have been following this series here, the old Chevy truck we now have, it was actually a barn find, which was pretty cool here. I found that and uh, we went and checked it out here and we got that truck for pretty much nothing uh, since we had to get it back up and run in here. But I'm really excited to see what type of mower this is. I don't think they remember it, it uh, since they didn't tell me over the phone here, but we're actually only just down the road from there. So it's only going to take a few minutes to get there. I just have to make sure we show up to the right address here. So let's see, they said it's almost across from the new barn they're building. And I think, yeah, it's going to be this house here. So I'm going to go knock on the door here, ask him where it is. I do not think it's this garage here, but let me go ask him and we'll go around his property and look at it. I'm going to go check it out now. All right, guys, he said it was around back here. He said it's behind all this brush. I do see something that looks like a building. Oh, boy, guys. I mean, this is some pretty heavy brush here. We have to walk around here. Let's see if we could kind of make our own trail back here. This is going to be tricky uh, to get this thing out of here. But let's uh, uh, kind of I'm, I'm going to use my hands here to push away some of the branches. And we're going to keep on walking in. Oh, boy, guys, look at that. That looks to be a 20-year-old Craftsman lawnmower here. It's a 12 horsepower. This thing is sweet. It looks like all the tires are flat here. Now, looking at it in its current uh, condition, guys, this thing is not going to start here. I don't even know if this is really going to even roll here. So it's going to be workouts to get it up on the uh, truck here. But let's uh, look under the seat. Looks like there's no battery. So I, I don't have a battery with me. So we won't be able to get it turned on here. Let's open up the hood. Awesome. So we have an engine here. Looks like the carburetor. Looks like everything is here. So yeah, it looks like... It was just kind of parked here and never used again here. So why don't we get the truck backed in? I want this, so let's get it loaded up. Guys, I got the ramp set up here, so I'm going to see if I could just get to pushing this up into the bed of the truck. This might take a few tries here, but I should have the strength to do it myself. If not, I do have a few ratchet straps that I could definitely I kind of put something together if we need an extra hand. This thing is super heavy here. Looks like the wheels are not even rolling. Oh, which is a part of the tricky problem here, but I'm slowly getting up here. It's just going to take quite a bit of muscle. I'm probably going to have to stop uh, halfway up here. There's just so much weight. I'm pushing a few hundred pounds at least here. And like I mentioned, the wheels aren't rolling. Almost there. Almost there. We only have about another foot here. The back tires just cleared the tailgate. Wow, we did it. That was definitely my gym workout for the day here. Wow, that took a lot of strength, but we did it here. And actually looking at it now up on the truck, it looks like it's in better condition than I was thinking here. Not too much rust, which is also a good thing. I'm just going to get the tailgate up here. Put these uh, back in the truck and let's get on back to the house here. And then I might have to ask one of my buddies to help me get this rolled off here because that's going to be tricky. And I definitely didn't want to be doing it safely. It's super exciting to have a barn find like this here. Like I mentioned, guys, this is a 20-year-old lawnmower. And these were quite popular back then here. I want to get this thing back up and running. And hopefully, guys, the goal is to have this thing cutting grass here. Because that is going to be super exciting if we could do that. And hey, I might end up cutting my lawn with it. Because of just how cool it is to have an old lawn, uh, mower like this back up and running. As many of you guys know, I'm always looking for projects and just working on machines and trucks like that. So this is perfect. This gives us a project to do in our free time here. I definitely have to order some things here. Hopefully, 
we, uh, we could get that engine up and running as quickly as we can. But guys, I'm going to go inside, uh, play farm sim with a few buddies here to end today. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.